Kapoor coming after Pratap Raj. He's again gone for that aerial loot like miles in the air but will land safely. Good fielding there. The ball was curling away but decent sense. Maintained his balance so that he can recover and collect the ball. Luck is favouring the brave. And you know who's the brave side here. It's the Avengers. They've played bravely. They've played their natural game, backed themselves to get those big shots. And as a result as well, you can see here, this one going in the no man's land. There were two fielders who were converging to take that. None of them could reach the ball eventually. And as a result, Praveen survives, brings back Raghupati on strike. What has he got for us? Pratap Raj under the pump. Bowls it slightly wide. That was a decent wide Yorker. Raghupati R digs it. He knows that there's no more risk of those hard shots. The job's done. The damage has already been dealt. And the Eagles are limping more of that flying part that they usually do. And let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, the Avengers have only secured one win until now. So this... The performance coming on the back of just one win from their first four games, it tells you a tale of desperation and resilience. Fifth ball of the over coming up. Gotcha, Pitches gotcha. it full, that's gone miles in the air. I reckon that should be taken. Yes, it is. One of the easiest of catches you would see. It was a skyscraper. And Praveen R, the way that he was dangerously surviving in the centre, Eventually ends up holding out to Tamiz Azaganar. He was living dangerously, Praveen. But he was trying to back his... Ladies and gentlemen, what a game we are having. It's oscillating like a pendulum. But the pendulum is slightly tilted towards the Avengers at the moment. And why not? The striking has been absolutely fiery there. There has been no relent for the bowlers. As you pointed out, Rohit, the Avengers have managed to get just one win in this tournament. Meanwhile, the captain for the Avengers, Tenovan, is out in the middle, 40 runs. Six boundaries, 1-6. Again, would want to improve his figures. Doesn't have a lot to do today, to be honest. They only require, what, 33 runs to win this game from here on. So he can afford to take his time as well. Pratap Raj, final ball. Wild swing of the blade from the captain. That won't do him any good. Four gone. And the Avengers are cruising now. 56 for two. Look at that score trend. And look at that drastic difference between the two sides. That first over. The difference maker. 28 was scored by the Avengers. And they are far too ahead. Way too ahead of what the Eagles did with the bat. Yes, towards the end. It was Sanjay who tried to get the team back in the hunt for the Eagles but the way Raghupati started off the Avengers have made their intentions pretty clear and as you mentioned Rohit that they've only managed to win one game in the tournament so the message from the dressing room is pretty clear we don't just have to win this we have to win this comfortably with a good margin and improve our net run rate absolutely Yash that is important because uh, in a contest like this every factor would come into the game Oh, that's a fine oh. shot, but straight to the fielder, or one bounce to the fielder. Oh, I reckon that's dropped. I just took my eyes off the screen for a while and uh, a lot of incidents happen. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, we keep on recommending you don't even breathe. You would simply go on to miss so many things that you can't even imagine. Look at me. Just took my eyes off the screen for a mini second and there you go, a drop catch. That's how fascinating the Pondicherry 10 overs tournament has been so far. We have seen almost everything. 5 6 has been hit off an over, 2 hat tricks as well. Gotcha, this gotcha, time, gotcha. however, that's another launch, but straight to the fielder's arms. Didn't get the desired power behind the shot. Raghupati R, the man who was cruising, was reticent for a while and eventually holds out to the fielder in the deep. The deep mid wicket fielder completing an easy catch at the end of the day. Raghupati's fireworks finally come to an end. That was pitch shot. His eyes lit up seeing that ball pitch shot. Trying to clobber the bowler over deep mid wicket. But it went straight into the arms of the fielder plays there. Nevertheless, a very good debut game for Raghupati coming to an end. He scored at a strike rate of 225. And as he passes by back into the dugout, he has a message for the incoming batter as well. 
And that would probably be to carry on the hunt, to carry on playing the big shots and try to finish off the game as early as possible. Impeccable, indeed impeccable stuff. New batter walks out to the center. And that is Mohandas R. Well, Mohandas R, two matches, 15 runs, strike rate of 94, three fours. See, Mohandas R can also strike the ball by a fair mile. And that is what ideally the Avengers should be banking on. Now, if there is a twist in the game from here on, I wouldn't be surprised because we have seen all sorts of things happening here in the Sikkim Pondicherry 10 overs tournament. Watchful batting from Mohan Das and the fielder not able to grab it in the first occasion and that brings Mohan Das off the mark. Now the interesting thing to see would be the approach of Thenavan and Mohan Das from here on. Do they continue the attack or do they just hold back, try and get a few, even if quiet overs Make sure you keep the scoreboard ticking. What's the decision that they will take? It will be interesting to see. Very rightly pointed because this is a pretty tricky situation. Despite the equation still being in favours of the Avenger. One more blow here and they may be staring down the barrel. So the job is almost done. They just need to be careful and keep on motoring along together. That's all that matters. Still two balls to go from Dinesh Kumar. Oh wow, what a delivery. Could have been number four as well. <clears throat> Inside edge, very fortunate there, Tenavanen, that the ball didn't go on to clatter onto his timber. So if I was in the Avengers dugout, I would want my side to take it easy from here on because they've done the maximum job. Now it's just about finishing the game. This time just tucks it to the fielder at short third. Oh my word, what have you done again? Albeit not costing heavily, but these things need to be kept down. It was actually a run-out opportunity if he could have picked up and threw the ball. Or throw the ball. But unfortunately, he couldn't. But a phenomenal over here from Dinesh Kumar. 5 over, 60 for 3. That's how the Avengers line. They've given away only 3 extras. As far as the extras are concerned, they've been very good. But uh, they will have to pick at least a couple of wickets here and those that two in quick succession if they want to make a match out of it. Otherwise, Tenovan and Mohandas are good enough batters to make sure the Avengers register their second win of the tournament. Very rightly pointed out. All they need is a little bit of calm right now. It's just that their ship has been rocked pretty vehemently and it happens. At times when you're into a smooth sailing, you may end up landing in the choppy waters. Matanem, 6.4 over, 61 runs, 1 wicket. Decent economy, 9.15. But what they need right now is wickets. Wickets is what can get them that victory, particularly after that fairy start from Avengers. That's a peach of a delivery. The batter was completely beaten by pace. Very luckily, he got his bat in the way or that could have went on to hit his stumps as well. Excellent delivery that by Martin. Right in the block hole. Challenging the batter. The batter, in fact, got a bit surprised seeing the pace which was on offer as well. You need this kind of effort from the bowling side when you're defending just 29 runs from 29 deliveries from here on. Yeah, this time it's a launch in the air, but it will land safely. Not the best of shots that you'd see, but at the end of the day, what Tenavan does is steal away a single. The pace that Martin generates, it's not going to be easy for the batters to straight away play their shots. He isn't one of those bowlers who you can pick up very easily and tonk over the park. You'll have to spend some time in the middle to catch hold, to get hold of the things, the plan, the game plan that he has come out with. Very rightly spotted, Yash, and uh, this is exactly what the bowlers would like to do here, particularly with the kind of equation that is right now in existence. Much better line, bowls it slightly fuller, just adjust it, not exactly in the good length area, Apish. And the batter quickly bringing down his bat, stealing away a single. Good running between the wickets, sensible batting from Tenavan and Mohandas. 
I reckon they are trying to reach to that 70 mark after which they can again free their arms. Martin is in fact leading the Eagles in this particular game. So both the captains are out here in action. Thenovan, of course, he's not on strike. But uh, it will be a good battle to see between the two skippers. Absolutely. Oh, that was a lovely ball again. This was actually much better from the last one. Ball 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 region, pace on offer and cramps the batter for room. Phenomenal bowling altogether from Martin M. And Mohandas are struggling to right now get the run sticking. They are basking in the glory of that earlier blitzkrieg that was knitted together by Ragupati and Praveen R. They'll have to get a move going as well. Martin M. Another phenomenal delivery. Stop, stop. Almost oh, a replica oh, oh. of the preceding one. And we'll only get a single. Excellent over so far from Martin. And what I have loved the most about him is the effort that he's putting in. Not just with the ball, but in the field as well. This time around as well. He ran all the way close to the ball and threw at the stumps. Had a shy at the stumps trying to get that run out. So he doesn't want to give it away easily. He wants to make sure even though if the Avengers chase is down, he will make it hard for them. Absolutely. And this time just pulls out of his bowling arc. I reckon there was a fielder who was outside the circle. So I believe the being the captain himself, he recognizes that if there's an additional fielder who's outside the circle, that can be a no ball. And no balls are always costly in terms of T20 cricket or rather 10 overs cricket as well. Yeah, this time he wanted to go for that ramp shot but went in a completely different direction altogether. Look at that, he's still practicing that ramp shot. And he'll need a lot more of that practice if he wants to get it directed in the right time. But what a phenomenal over from Martin there. Six overs started to pull the things back. They might well still not be able to clinch this game. But they are at least making sure it's not a one-sided game at the end. Absolutely. But again, uh, it's that earlier damage that has been done as we were talking about that if you can just run away with the game in the power play. That's exactly what the Avengers have done. But again, cricket is all sorts of tricky and funny. Pretty unpredictable as well. Dinesh Kumar, that one over, just four runs and a wicket. He'll be a crucial architect if Eagles are to stage a turn around because this 24 runs will have to be scored. That was another bizarre shot on offer. No connection, no intent from Intanavan either. He just wanted to ramp it over, but where was he playing that? No connection, no conviction. 42 is what the Avengers got in the power play and they lost one wicket. But after the end of the power play, they've only managed to get 23 runs in the next three. So yes, the Eagles have managed to pull things back, but the damage which was done in the power play was good enough. Jabs it to the fielder at long off. They'll get a single. In fact, they're pushing for the second. They'll have to run hard. It was a close call. But once again, that stunning dive, that dedication, that tenacity to make the ground is what helps Tenavan to reach. It reminded me of the dive that Gautam Gambhir had put. A full stretch dive in the World Cup final in 2011. Of course, not that situation. But the dive, the effort that the batter put in there to make sure he reaches his home safely was phenomenal. Carrying so much dust alongside it. And an excellent effort there by Tenovan, the captain in fact, to make sure he reaches the home safely. Well done, captain. Absolutely well done, captain. As you mentioned, leading from the front. Oh, this time slightly short. And bowling the ball, fraction shot to the batter. He gets deep into the crease, cuts it really good. And that's a fine square cut that you'd ever see. One of the finest square cuts that you'd ever see. This boundary would take off the pressure, whatever that the Avengers found themselves in. Absolutely. This will settle down their nerves now for the Avengers. Last few overs weren't quite good for them, but this time around playing that cut shot really well and found the gap as well. They've got a very strong field on the offside, but to still beat them and to get that boundary 
it definitely needed some doing. And this was that full stretch dive which Tenerman eventually managed to put up. Look at that frame. This is in reverse action with that frame. That was regal. And that boundary. Doing a world of good to the batters and now they are starting to grow in confidence and stature. Knocks it around, will get a single. This is what we were talking about. Rohit sitting in a partnership with the kind of start that they had caught. They need not do anything silly and Thenavan and Mohandas have done exactly that. Final ball, dances down the track. The connection is in gorgeous but decent enough to allow them to run back for the second. Excellent batting here from Antenavan. Controlled risks, calculated risks and they are slowly cruising now to that finish line. Slowly but steadily, they're heading towards their destination, the Avengers. Antenavan, final ball of the over. Once again, an attempt it for that scoop shot. Didn't get the scoop right but did get connection enough to steer the ball away from the stumps and steal away a quick single. That marks the end of the seventh over and the Avengers now move on to 76 for the loss of three. Seven overs and the Avengers have tiptoed their way slowly to the gates of Rohit. Um. Nice words to hear, inflates my heart, helps my ego as well, but uh, yes, this match was seesawing for some time, but now they have pulled it back and Avengers are on the cusp of, as it appears, an easy victory, but uh, strange things to happen and uh, looking forward to some strange things to happen in the course of the rest of the three overs in the innings. Up for the next over. This time the batter shuffles across the line. I reckon that's a skyscraper. Oh, yes, that is. That's a rocket launched into the orbit from Tenavanen. What a phenomenal strike from the skipper. Tenavan brought up a dive earlier and now he brings up a drive that ball sends the ball sailing over. Long on for a six. Actually, cow corner for a six. What a strike and this has killed the match. This match is heading only in one direction. That shot again. With seven wickets to spare, with so many balls to spare. Their net run rate would sky leap altogether. This time another shot straight over the bowler's head. The fielder won't be able to do anything about that. Tenavan is, is in a hurry. He has a train to catch and he will take Madan Kumar for some exquisite strikes. Look at the glory of the shot. Phenomenally, just tipped it over the bowler's head. Balletic perfection. And that's how you do things. Oh, he was already into the shot even before the bowler bowled. He gave away his intentions. Tremendous comeback there from Madan Kumar. Saw that Tenavan was teasing him with that shot on offer. He was way early into that shot, even when Tenavan was in his run-up. And uh, an innings that was meandering has been given a lot of meaning and momentum by Tenavan. Now it is just a matter of... And the four extras only in this innings is fantastic bowling. Yeah, this time that's a launch! And that's a coup! Oh no, it isn't! It isn't! I reckon I spoke too early. Madan Kumar has dealt the blow and Mohandasar will not be a part of that final lap. And this match promises to continue to be a seesaw, although the result is not in doubt. Another wicket now. Good catching, it must be said. Kept his calm, cupped it very easily and then a minor celebration because they know both teams know what the result will be. Absolutely. Bowlers who wanted to bend their back got returns. Spinners got returns. Batters got what they wanted. And uh, 
you can't ask for more in any tournament this is splendid work by the groundsman as well vijay rajaram is the new man in the center and is playing his first game of the tournament so that is interesting as well he'll be facing the first ball and in a poetic fashion he has the chance to finish things off madan kumar an expensive second over a wild slash of the blade but that won't do him any good at all because there was no wood on that delivery if he had connected we were under some kind of threat he's a massive man vijay rajaram final ball from madan and this time is taken the aerial route that's gone miles in the air and definitely has got miles beyond the rope as well what a way to finish things off vijay rajaram has smacked an absolute monster and the avengers are home with two overs and six wickets to spare thumping victory very assertive performance over part their opponents during the course of this match even when things were not going for them comprehensive six wicket victory and this wicket this six just the six uh, the second ball for the batter doing the trick and that the end of the match phenomenal shot and the and launched it to another ground all together that tells you the story and that's the batting lineup for the avengers the ragupati r or rather ragupati r destroyed the opposition with 27 of 12 praveen r joined in the party 18 of 10 that's where the match was lost and then tanavan and mohandas keeping their nerves eventually steers the team to a phenomenal victory and just those four extras but again they bowled so expensively that it didn't matter at the end of the day and that's how the bowlers have fared all together pratap rajti 22 runs conceded two wickets claimed madan kumar one for 22 dinesh kumar one for 14 and that's all that they could offer in this curtailed run chase and now this is the match summary this is the story of the game for you ladies and gentlemen sanjay s 58 of 32 unbeaten vinay pratap singh 17 of 12 good bowling from kashyap prudvi and tanavan n and that restricted the eagles to 88 for 3 and then look at that batting card dragopati r destroying the opposition tanavan n 19 of 13 and eventually they claimed a six wicket win we'll now slip into a short breather as we would return at or